Hey everybody, this is Nada's Spring Chick, and the president has drawn his line in the stand, which is, oh what, $1.6 trillion in new taxes on the wealthy and $600 billion in stimulus funds. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, because the Republicans... Uh, as they said this morning, the Republicans are on the run. They're going to have to cave into Obama's demands because the public is demanding it. No, they said the people that elected the Republicans to keep control of the House to balance out Obama don't want it. They, Boehner, Boehner was going to cave in until this morning. If I've drawn my line in the sand, it is going to be $1.6 trillion in new taxes on the wealthy to start. And he said the words to start because they're not paying their fair share. It's got to be shared sacrifice. Then we're going to have to pump $400 billion into Medicare to save it, which he said didn't need to be saved, but because he's taken all the money out of it, it has to be saved. And then immediate, he wants $200 billion in more infrastructure spending and $50 billion before Christmas in order to save this country's economy, which he said had no problems. Mm -hmm. And basically, that basically, they were rebelling about uh, about Bonnier basically getting ready to cave, and then what happens is every time he starts to cave, Obama goes one step further. I mean, like this morning, uh, one of the people I mean said basically, he said, you know why the president of the United States does not play poker like other presidents did, and they want to know why. And he said because everyone knows that after four years of office. If he knows he's losing, he always doubles down. Everyone knows the man. If he was in a game of poker, you know when he has no hand because he's got to double down on you. And that's when you, you just throw the book, you throw everything you've got at him because he, he's, he, he, I mean, only Bill O'Reilly and Republican commentators think that this guy has to, um, he has, he's wanting to see him at his place in history, like one person said this morning, you know, BS will tell you. He said, his place in history is going to be fundamentally changing this, how this country is done so that the wealthy are totally destroyed and the wealth is distributed. Mm -hmm. But he's a good one, folks. Guess what's happening that they said would not happen? The guys with the money are leaving the country. The people with the money are dumping all of their dividends from the company for now instead of next year. The market is going to be busted next year because they'll pay no dividends whatsoever because of Obama. Which means if you're not going to get any dividends, why are you going to invest in something mm -hmm. that's going to return nothing? Mm -hmm. So they figured it's going to be the biggest god-awful sell-off in the history of mankind before January 1st. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good time to short, huh? They said, uh, yeah, because they know it's happening. All those grand delusions, well, this is going to be 14000 Well, they, they tanked again the day after the Obama compromise. You know, well, we're going to do $600 billion new spending, folks. And Democrats offer pie-in-the-sky cuts. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, we realize that we have to we do something to help, you know, this budget crisis. But the situation is so grave that was caused by George Bush that we cannot do this for two to four years. Uh, and then, we'll, then we can talk about stopping spending. Until then, we must increase spending. Uh, how they get increase the spending? Well, they have to raise taxes. But here's the thing is... They said this morning, if the Obama does what one of the people said, he intends to, he said, you know, he said, one of the older women, she said, I really feel sorry for children because children believe that he's actually serious when we know he'd rather have us go off the cliff because he can't do what he wants to do on the money he's going to raise. In order to make the money he needs, he has to tax that 47% that aren't paying federal income taxes to get the money he needs to spend for his projects. Mm. And then he expects them to vote. Oh, here, here's the key word. This morning, one of the commentators who basically works at the ground that Obama work, walks on said that I would have thought that after winning his fourth term in office that he would have been conciliatory and they mm. let the term fourth term in office. Not second. Second is mm -hmm. completely different than third and fourth. He said specifically fourth term, fourth Who is term that? in office. Who was that one? Uh, let, let's put it this way. It was a very popular Afro-American commentator on one of the networks. And privacy groups ask Facebook to withdraw proposed policy changes. Yeah, basically the, the changes basically are, are basic, once again, it has to do, okay, the market really loved it. Well, Facebook jumped, the stock jumped $6 a share on the fact that 
that the people who are Facebook are going to sell everything they know about you to advertisers. That's how they're going to make their money by selling in from what, tell people who you're talking to, what sites you belong to, where you go to after you've left their site. That didn't go over well with anybody, including the ACLU. It went really bad. Oh. So you can look back, they're going to be court time over at too, because Facebook is basically has no way of monetizing itself. And they're, by only selling stuff is the only way they can do it. It isn't going to work because it's a violation of everybody's rights doing what they're doing. And satellite photo shows increased activity at North Korean launching site. Oh, isn't that amazing? Here's the thing. That since Obama became president, the world has become more dangerous. It's been, uh, you can't blame George Bush on the Iranians getting their nuclear weapons because he's doing nothing. You can't blame George Bush over the oil crisis because that was a, a democratic thing. You can't blame George Bush on the... Um, uh, on, the, on, the, on the Muslims' uprisings all over the world, turning the bad guys in, you know, on, said this is all happening under Obama. He stopped, he, Obama has ceased using the words George Bush did this and George Bush Oh, he has? Oh, it, it came to a screeching halt because oh, now that's uh, the Arab Spring happened under Obama. The oil crisis has happened under Obama. You know, Hurricane Sandy happened under Obama. The, the, the British Petroleum happened under Obama. The Muslims taking over one country after another, the extremist Muslims, under Obama. Isn't there a sort of, a, like the one person said this morning, isn't, isn't there a ring to that? Under Obama, under Obama, mm -hmm. under Obama. And he's looking for a place, oh, BS wants to make an announcement. The president is no longer looking at replacing one of the lesser presidents on Mount Rushmore with his head. They are talking about replacing all of the presidents on Mount Rushmore with Obama's statue. What? Well, as, as Jimmy Fox said, he is our Lord and Savior. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, FDA flexes new muscles and shuts down plant. The, the Obamas don't like um, peanut butter, so they're shutting down one peanut butter thing after another. I can't even <laughs> get... I like to have salted peanuts because I have a salt problem. You cannot buy shelves salted peanuts in stores now. They're taking them off the shelves. Peanut butter has become so expensive that we no longer buy peanut butter. I mean, they've added three dollars to the peanut butter because the president of the United States is going after every peanut butter manufacturer and grower in this country. One of which happens to mean James Elroy Carter. Mm. And a man who performed first successful kidney transplant dies at 93. Oh, I know. I mean, actually, you know when that was done? That was back in the night during, um, that was by a guy that act, one of the early Manx uh, people that developed Manx units for the military was the guy that did the kidney transplant and he did it because they had no other choice. He created a kidney device to keep the kidneys flowing and he created a dialysis machine at the same time in order so he could do the kidney transplant. The guy was a god awful genius. Here, hey folks, guess something very important that they don't bother to mention. He happened to be an Afro-American. Mm. An Afro-American did all of this. You know what was funny was? Mm. He was he almost died from having an injury because the hospital a hospital that they took him to wouldn't let a black man into the hospital. Clashes in Cairo after Mersey seizes new powers. Oh yeah, the, they uh, one of the Obama people. Well, we knew that he was a member of the Brotherhood, Brotherhood, but we thought that he was going to do things gradually over the years until people got used to. His style, we didn't have any idea that he would simply do it all at once. But he took complete control of the country last week in one fell swoop by taking the courts, the power to courts away, which he didn't have the legal right to do. But dictators do what dictators wanted to. And Syria says Turkey's bid for NATO missiles provocative. Yeah, the problem is, is that because of that, and the Iranians have got missiles. Iranians ship missiles to Syria. They flew over. Israel, they flew over Iraq and they flew over Israel with missiles for Syria, which means they're going to take the Syrians if they get have problems. They're going to take out um, Turkey. They're going to simply they've got a big air force. They've got a large army. Turkey basically has a defensive army because their days of you know, their job days of having mismanaging armies are over because of the expense. You watch what happens. Turkey is likely to fall to the Iranians as a result of that problem in Syria. And Mexico arrests suspected murder on FBI most wanted list. Well, they've just been sitting there for God awful who knows how long. The problem is that there, you go to Mexico and you'd be a refugee down there. As long as they don't touch you until you run out of money, and then they basically turn you over. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. And this is this is uh, 
you know, youth is often wasted upon the very young who listen to absolutely nothing and then respond to what they didn't listen to. Mm -hmm. 